Amy Zimmerman is a poet living in Portland, Oregon with her teenage son and free cats. Spelled with a Z, that's so cool. <laughs> she cuts hair for wages and writes for love. I like that as well. She has a chat book titled Kelly Point, available at Pals Books, and has been published online in several journals and in an anthology for drunk and a midnight choir. She tries to tell, always tell the truth, and her favorite food is grapes. <laughs> Please welcome well Amy Zimmerman. Do 
Do you remember that woman that came in my bus? In my memory, she is Mia Farrow, all eyes and acid. She took the cheese out of my hand and warned of choking hazards, the way one describes butterfly wings. But it felt like a prophecy, and I've worried about my relationship with cheese ever since. It was difficult to be your first, though, trial runs and all that. I think you were angry you had to run away, and this was what you ran to. Following God's purpose has not traditionally been rewarding for women of solitary intellect. The shredded rubber edges of that burst balloon cut me many times, and I forgive you for each and every one. It doesn't take the taste of soap out of my mouth or allow me to forget the feel of wooden spoons, but I care for growing things now, so it's all right. A recurring fear that I wasn't saved enough, that you would be Happy to unfetter when the time came, rising naked in rapture. Every possible altar call, sure of my sins, stealing marshmallows, early masturbation, rising to the front with the other penitents begging to be cleansed. That movie, shiny face actors disappearing midst undone chores, the electric razor on the bathroom counter still running. All of us left behind, clothed in white, lining up to be beheaded. I spent some time bending my Barbie's knees, not wanting them disqualified by their own wanton acts. A little older, me watching you, watching movies, your lips mouthing the conversation, eyes lifted in surprise or soft with joy. Screwed, crumpled with lost love. It was something I could not stand. You never wore any fucking shield, mother. An open invitation to all our human injury visiting upon you, plague-like, never-ending. I do this now in response to any storytelling my mouth. And then, oh, I bend forward, I nod. I spoke my own version of mind sign language before I even started taking classes so badly to hear you, to acknowledge you are heard by me at the end, or really here in my middle. I see you did as mothers do in refugee camps. You held me up to whatever stronger arms you could see. Of the porcelain in either 